Now at 10, this is what upwards of 70 years of neglect looks like, according to city leaders, who add that this actually could have been much worse. And 20 years, thousands of deaths and injuries, and tonight just as many questions about America's longest war that's come to an end. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amanda Barron. And I'm Tim Ear. Thanks for joining us. First tonight, two inches of rain crippled the city of Huntington today, and in some places there was even more rain than that. They are still waiting for the water to go down. Yeah, enough to cause traffic jams all around the city, cancel classes this evening at Marshall University, and really just cause a whole lot of problems. A lot of people calling their insurance agents for sure. Yeah. News Channel 3's Kelsey Soto joins us now uh, live from Fifth Avenue. We're used to seeing this, Kelsey, but this was extraordinary. Tim and Amanda, those who live, work, and drive along 5th and 3rd Avenue in Huntington, they know there's going to be flooding. And honestly, they've learned to come to expect it. But today, that high water closed down several roads for many hours during rush hour traffic as drivers were stranded and had to wait for that water to recede. Now, something to point out, 5th Avenue near 25th Street is this video you're about to see here in front of Cookout. Now, they're used to high water, but this afternoon, one driver actually found themselves trapped and needing some help having to leave that red car in the middle of the road, lights still on and all. We actually watched as several vehicles head straight into that water, which was several feet deep at points, including one truck while we were live on the air tonight at six o'clock. And each and every time a car or truck would pass by, it created waves, which would then ripple out and shift and move that vehicle, even splashing up against nearby businesses. Now the roads had to be shut down by Huntington police and West Virginia State Police. Cars forced to wait it out or to try and sneak by cutting through neighboring businesses or any side streets. Over on 3rd Avenue, we found a Marshall student who actually stripped down to his jeans and jumped in to help push some stranded cars to higher ground. I'm going to be waiting here, and there's not a lot of people out here helping. So I decide, so just decided to saw some guys pushing it. So I thought the best time is not just to watch and record, is decide to just help people. So if you're too busy holding a phone and recording, you could be doing something and helping someone. You'll remember last week, we actually took a tour of several pump stations and other water facilities all across the city of Huntington, including their wastewater treatment plant, which, by the way, largest in the state. The city, though, really wants to invest in improvement projects to help with issues like the stormwater drainage we're dealing with today, but they really need the help of city council to make all of that work a reality. Work actually started last August to help clear one of the major inceptor lines that begins in the High Lawn area, which was built back in 1958. And we're told by the executive director of the Water Quality Board, it had never been cleaned out. We spoke with Huntington Mayor Steve Williams on our WSAZ Now desk earlier this evening, and we asked about the issues we dealt with here today along 5th and 3rd Avenue. I have people on the Water Quality Board that uh, work to, to keep our catch basins clean and, and, and everything. And when this happens, are out just making sure that the catch basins are clear so the water can go down. They said that some of them working 20, 25 years, um, they've never seen it that bad before. And we've seen it bad, uh, but haven't seen it uh, that, that bad before. Now, it's important to understand that situations like this, while could be considered nuisance flooding, honestly put a serious strain on our first responders, our dispatchers who are fielding a lot of calls tonight. We saw ambulances and fire trucks rushing around trying to get to different parts of the city. All of this happening at once. Drivers, though, really getting stuck in the middle of this gridlock. We saw people being rerouted into Proctorville and over into Southern Ohio and Chesapeake to have to get around all of this mess. Good news, though, we're out here along 3rd Avenue right now. Things are looking a lot better. But again, drizzle of rain still falling. Water has receded a lot, but there's certainly going to be a lot of cleanup tomorrow. Yes. All right. Well, if any, there's a good sign. Kelsey doesn't have her hood up, so I guess yes. it's not coming down as much. So. <laughs> Things have changed yeah. a bit since Just a bit. earlier shows. Yeah, All thanks, right. Guys. A little bit. <laughs> Thank you. And coming up tonight at 11.